Alright guys, so I'm back from the cottage, got the inverter still working just fine, running my office space and this uh, compressor when I use it. Got my new charge controller in that I'm going to be using with this system, just testing it out. Got one of these Ming He cheap, it's pretty much just a buck converter that has like a, it's pretty much the exact same as these things here. Sever, it's got a display. It's about the same price too, so. Um, yeah, I got 470 watts hooked up to this one. Hope it's not gonna cook it. I bought four of these just in case. Um, yeah, those are my settings I'm using. My panel voltage. So I'm wondering, there's quite a few videos on YouTube and one of them shows how you can make it turn on automatically. I can't remember which one it was. I was trying to find it again because I gotta hit start every time for this thing to um, start charging <coughs> and it is extremely overcast out here like as you can see and it's it's just stopped snowing actually it was snowing like crazy <coughs> so my panels are pretty covered and I'm making no power and just like you saw there it just shut off again so it's not charging at all um, and I want it to be able to reset itself and do everything by itself. I don't want to have to do a thing. So if anybody could help me with that, I know you guys, uh, a few of you know how to do that. It would be great if you could tell me. So came back from the cottage, depleted both these battery banks. I re ran the house off of this battery bank here. It's a 120 or 140 amp hour lithium polymer battery bank. That ran the house for five or six hours, I can't remember, the cottage, I mean. Five or six hours off that one, and about the same off this one, this is 120 amp hours. They're, they're within an hour of each other. So that ran the house for a day there, and then uh, the rest of the time I, I ran it off uh, the 3000 watt inverter that I got at my parent grandparents' house. It's the exact same as this one, but it is 12 volts, and this one's 60 volts. So that's what I got new. And one other thing came in the mail, and I'm very excited for this. I'll be installing this later. These are the parts I ordered for this inverter. So they sent me all four new resistors or whatever these are, new 60 volt control board, and whatever this board is. So I'll be desoldering those. I already got all the new MOSFETs in. I'll be putting these in, and hopefully it works. But we'll see. Other than that, system's working just fine. Uh, battery bank is sitting at, look at how nice and quick this camera focuses. 13 volts, pulling two watts. <coughs> this is my new uh, Sony RX100 Mach 5. This one does ridiculously good slow-mo for uh, what it is. And this is the first time I'm filming with it. I'm shooting in MP4, 1080p, 60 frames a second. And yeah, just giving you guys a good idea of uh, my system here. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoy these videos. Thanks for watching.